my name's Adam. And this is, well actually Adam LZ, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's my name. Um, and this is how to double pike the fakie. And basically, it's this trick. Indian. I'm gonna do this. Alright, still recording? Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna know how to do in order to do a double peg to fakie on a quarter pipe is be able to double peg the ramp. Um, I have another how to on that. Fuck lawn mowers! I hope this sound sounds good. If it isn't, no bitching. Alright, so, um, yeah, you need to know how to double peg on a quarter pipe. If you don't know, see my other how to. Link in the description down below. Um, basically, what you're going to want to do is get into a double peg. And really, it's just as easy as it sounds. Like, you're going to want to kind of like push off and turn into the ramp. It's going to be an opposite spin, so it's going to be a little bit tough, and you're probably going to fall on your back at first a few times. But really, the biggest trick to it is just turning your head and committing. Um, I'll do another one right here, but I have a few tips that may help you. Um, actually, I'm not going to do another one right here. First thing you might want to try is get into it. Like, when you're about to do it, you're going to kind of want to be like here. Zoom in on my pegs real quick. You're not going to want to be like totally locked in. Don't zoom with a fish eye. Just move closer. <laughs> so you're going to want to kind of be like almost going to not like that because then it's going to be harder. You want to kind of be like that. But a good practice might just be just jumping in from this and just landing kind of flat. So you're just like kind of film this real quick. Just like getting a good... If you couldn't see that, I'll do it again. You're basically just going to want to push off really hard and just land flat. Just like... Now there's two things you could do now. You could go right ahead and do the double peg to fakie. And it's going to be kind of scary because you're spinning opposite and I don't know how comfortable with fakies you are on ramps, hopefully pretty comfortable. But uh, you will shed a little bit of blood on your back. Um, basically I think it took me like three tries and the best type of quarter to do it on is somewhere in between five and seven feet. I actually think bigger is easier because you have a little more time to spin when you're dropping. If it's mellow you're just going to get caught up in the transition. Um, you can go right ahead and try it. One thing that I think I learned first, I'm not positive but I'm pretty sure I learned first, was a front pedal salt the fakie. Which basically like, I'm pretty sure I went like this. Like I get up in this and I'm just going to fakie. I'll try one of those real quick and I'll tell you if I think it's easier or not. I'm gonna do it on this side, alright Code? So you're fine. So, um, yeah, that's kind of easier. It kind of gives you the, it kind of gives you the idea, but um, at the same time it doesn't, because it's going to be a little bit different than double peg, because you're going to want to pull up a little bit. You can try this on a flat ground box like this right here. Basically just prop your bike up on it, just try pulling off and going fakey. But I mean, on a ramp, if you're willing to just commit, it's not too bad. I'll do one without doing an Indian giver. Another little note. If you haven't watched my other videos where I talk about Indian givers, it's when you fakey out the opposite, or like the back to the way that you spun and it looks really ugly. So with this, you either want to just go to the other side if you're on a half pipe, or just do an opposite fakey because it'll look better. I'll do one more just to make it look pretty and that's it. I mean, it's a pretty simple trick.